wow, they really, really helped me out in the moment that I needed most. The mission of Humble Design is to help families, individuals, and veterans exiting homelessness with donated household goods and furniture. I'm Julie Dickinson and I'm the director at Humble Design here in Chicago. The families that we work with, the individuals we work with have exited a homeless scenario. They don't have anything. If you, our wait list here for, for affordable housing in Chicago is six to eight years. And people have been in homeless shelters for two years is our max there. And then it's doubled up. They're living doubled up. They're living with families, their friends. And so by the time they get to us, they have been through so much trauma and they have maybe a bag of clothes. And you know, you think about what you can carry with you uh, from place to place and, and all the things that you leave behind, whether it's fleeing a fire or domestic violence, whatever that the, those scenarios are that have led you to that homelessness. When they called me, I was in depression. I was getting chemo, radiation. I got nothing in my house. I lost everything in Puerto Rico. I lost everything. I saw people there next to me, and the depression was too high. There are currently 80,400 homeless people in the Chicago area. Families make up 50% of the Chicago homeless population, and 46% of Chicago homeless shelters are single moms and children. Many of the displaced families work with organizations to find an apartment, but still face the gap of furnishing their living space. Imagine that you get up the next day, you don't have no water, no internet, no clothes, nothing, no electricity. And they pass by your house with a big truck, say, we don't know when we're gonna have water or electricity. Six months, I was in my apartment without water. Close your eyes, six months. Without water, without electricity, without telephone. Taking a, taking a shower in a bucket with a gallon, use a gallon to wash your water, and then use that to flush your toilet. Imagine, six months. One of the things that we researched recently, what's the average apartment in Inglewood? What is the average median income? So basically at the end of the day, our clients have maybe $40, $40 of discretionary income. How can you save up for a couch? How can you save up for a bed? How can you save up for a, you're, you've got to pay rent, you've got to pay groceries and get your kids' shoes, all those sorts of things. Um, it's not sustainable. The majority of Humble Design's clients are black and most are single moms living on Chicago's south or west sides. All of our clients fall below the poverty line. To put that in perspective, a family of three makes under $22,000 a year. After paying for rent, utilities, and groceries, Humble Design's typical family has less than $50 left at the end of each month. It would take Humble Design's clients more than 18 years to save up for the furnishings they provide. Not only does Humble Design provide furnishings for the new living space, but they also take it a step further by providing a personalized detailed design, moving services, and a team of volunteers to set everything up. You know, you come in there and the kids sleeping on bags and sheets, and then when you leave, you know, when I meet the family, they got Mr. David, can I have a bed when I come home? And when they come home, they have a bed. I don't even stay for most of the reveals. I leave because I cry more than the client. <laughs> but I'm getting good about it now though. The reason I love volunteering at Humble Design Chicago is I see an immediate impact in my community. I had looked around for a while to find a place I really wanted to spend my time and Humble Design is it. Um, I personally am in charge of making the art for each child and they tell us what they like. We're really into Coco Melon or LOL dolls or we like to read. And actually my daughter and I and other volunteers draw and paint little canvases for them with their name on it and they get it in their room um, during the design process. That makes me happy and it makes them happy. I was homeless for a few months and they really made my apartment so beautiful. Everybody, they see it, you know what they told me, so you. 
I can't believe with what a couple of the questions they asked me, they make a difference in my life. You guys don't understand what it is comfort, radiation, and sit down. And they make every little bit of my story like, you like to read, they got it, they got it, everything that I can enjoy when I come home from my radiation. We have an army of interior designers that help us week after week pull specific items to transform these empty houses into fully furnished homes that are very specific. What are your colors? What are your styles? What do you want to feel like when you walk in your room? What do you want to do it together as a family when you're in the living room? So it's not just a couple pieces of furniture. It's creating a space that they walk in the door and that's their sanctuary. That's their safe space. Humble Design serves those emerging from homelessness by transforming their empty house into a welcoming, uplifting, beautifully furnished home with donated furniture and household goods. I chose to work for Humble Design because I was homeless once and I know how it feels not to have something and then to come home and have a comfortable place to lay my head. I think what all of us volunteers really like is that the organization feels like a family and we get to go into these houses and decorate them, you know, everything from soup to nuts and see this direct impact in the community. And it makes us feel like a bigger part of the Chicagoland community too. One year after our clients, we've helped our clients, we call and check, how are they doing? How are our services? What could we do better? What did we do well? And are they still housed? 99% of our families are still housed a year later. And that, that is a profound impact. 